Hi, uh, in this video series, we'll basically cover how you can perform migration uh, of your already existing self hosted uh, production site onto uh, Frappe Cloud. Or let's assume you just have a backup lying around on a local machine, you want to create a new site and restore it there on Frappe Cloud. We'll cover all the possible scenarios. Now, to perform a migration, uh, you'll need a set of files. Technically, you, all you need is the database file, but then if your site already has public files and private files associated with it, uh, when you restore, uh, it will lose a lot of functionality because then uh, you won't be able to access your files. Simple. Now, how do we generate these four files? Uh, you can do that using the bench backup command. Uh, we won't be going in depth how to perform backups per se, but then these are the commands. So ideally, you should be running the uh, second command here, which is backup your site with the said files. And if it's large enough, you can pass the compress file as well, which will uh, uh, give the output in a tar.gz file. As you can see that I have a yapinet site running here. Uh, this is very similar to what you would have when you have hosted uh, yapinex on your own machine. Uh, as you can see, I have access to bench. So as long as you have access to bench, you can follow this process. So let's uh, just quickly go and create uh, to do so that when we restore it, we can uh, cross check. Let's save this up. We'll save this. Now let's go ahead and take a backup of the same. So, how do you do that? We just say Frappe backup. We can go to the docs and we can check what is the options. So, we want to backup with files. So, the name of the site is Yappy Next. So, site yeah, next dot site. We want to take a backup with files. Yes. Now we also have an option to specify the path where we want the backup to be stored. And I would like to pass a custom path. So I would like to go to my home directory. Uh, so this is my home directory. I'll create a directory called as backup. And then I will come here and I'll paste backup. This should ideally create the backup files and I should also be able to view it here. Now let's go ahead and upload these files uh, because as you can see the backup size is very little less than so any file if your backup size is less than 200 megabytes you can uh, upload it through the uh, graphical UI that is your Frappe Cloud dashboard. So right now we are uh, in the Frappe Cloud dashboard let us proceed and create a new site onto which we'll be sort of migrating or restoring the backup. Now, uh, ERP Next is a very common uh, app uh, by Frappe, so it should be available on the shared bench. Uh, as you see, the version, uh, framework version, so ERP Next is version 15, relied on framework version 15, so it is only uh, sensible that I create a site of the compatible version. I'll just choose Mumbai. Uh, you will be listed with all the plans, choose what you want. I'll go with the most basic plan. I'll just click on agree. Uh, yes. The domain will be test restore site. Yeah. And let's create site. Now this will take some time. Uh, and post this will be sort of uh, redirected to this page. And once the uh, status of the site is active, we should be good to go. So uh, the site is ready. Now we'll go to actions and in actions there's uh, this option called restore with files. Let us go and upload our files one by one. This is the database file, the public files uh, and this is our private files. We also have a site config and site config usually has uh, a record known as your encryption key, which is used to encrypt fields which have sensitive content. If you have any failing patches, but we don't, uh, it's, 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 I mean, we are using RP next, so it should be fine. Uh, you can click on restore and the restore process will uh, get started. It will take around uh, two to three minutes, uh, maybe even a couple of, a good chunk of minutes, depending upon the size of your uh, database and the restore process. As you can see, the restore was successful. You can go ahead and uh, check all your logs. In case of errors, you can see what went wrong. 
Now let's just go to setup site. It will take us to the site. Now we can also check uh, the to-do list that we have created. Yes, the data is here. So this was a successful restore. And this sums up how you can uh, restore your backup files from the Frappe uh, Cloud dashboard itself. Hey guys, so this is the one of the important things when using the bench migrator command is that your Frappe version should be uh, minimum at least uh, this much. And once you have uh, your Frappe version uh, qualifying these, you should be good to go to run the bench migrator command. So in this scenario, we'll see how you can uh, back up your large uh, Frappe sites using the bench migrate to command. So all you have to do is cd into your bench directory and then just write bench migrate to. Uh, yes, we want. So these has two options. First, we'll go without the external files. I'll just go no. Uh, so the name of the site I want to migrate is yappynext.site. As you can see, I have a site here. I have two files and I have like a couple of a uh, couple of hundred to do's as well so this is my frappe uh, cloud.com credentials this one so it's gonna be frappe.io the password will be now uh, the site that I want to restore is this site so I'll just copy this, paste it here. Uh, yes. So this should automatically take a backup and uh, sort of push it. And then the process should get started. So it, this, the speed of this process totally depends upon how big your Frappe site is. So if you go here, now it's in pending state. Uh, if we check the jobs, the restore site job is running. And in some time, the site should be uh, up and going. Now you can see the job was successfully done. We can now go ahead and just log in as administrator. As you can see, all my files are here. And then uh, if I go to to-do list, you can see all the to-dos are here. So this is how you do a backup using the migrate to command. Hey guys, in this scenario, we'll see how to use the bench migrate to command. But in this case, we'll be passing an external file. Uh, so this means you don't have to restore uh, your backup to the site just to migrate it to Frappe Cloud. So to do that, just go inside your bench directory, just type bench migrate to. Yes, this is the default provider. Yes, I want to pass external files. So uh, this is where uh, we will essentially uh, need to pass the external files. So I already have a backup. And that's stored in CD sites, ERP next site, uh, private folder, uh, and that should be inside backup. So these are my files. So I will be passing, uh, what do you say, the complete path uh, to the same. So it will be this followed by your database uh, SQL.gz. So that's the full path to public files would be this followed by your public files uh, this is your part to the private files so it is very uh, important you uh, put the uh, complete path not the relative path and now the config file so for that file now I'll just put in my credentials for my Frappe Cloud account and then it should uh, pick the file so I, this is the site name I want to restore yes and then this should uh, get it done now you see uh, my site is going into a pending state it will take a couple of minutes depending upon how big your site is 
Now you can see the job was successfully done. We can now go ahead and just log in as administrator. As you can see, all my files are here. And then uh, if I go to to-do list, you can see all the to-dos are here. This is how you do a backup using the migrate to command.